gonna take a video. It's okay? Yes. Okay. You ready? Yes. Oh, you look so <laughs> good. I mean, beautiful. I forgot your makeup, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Could you introduce yourself? What position are you at the library? Yes. Mm -hmm. My name is Sarah Foster. I'm a librarian four. And a librarian four means I am a head librarian of the Juliet Hampton Morgan Memorial Library. And I have departments underneath me, which places me as a library in four and department heads of our library in threes. Okay. Actually, I saw uh, several Korean books in here. Mm -hmm. So do you have many Korean guests at the library, at your library? We do have quite a few mm -hmm. Korean patrons. Mm -hmm. I have not had a Korean author yet, so if you know of a Korean author oh. that's in the area, I would love to have oh, them. <laughs> wow. I mean, good yeah. point. Yes. Do you have any, you know, the Korean class in here? We do not have a Korean class mm -hmm. here. Louder at one point was having Korean language mm -hmm. courses, but they're not doing it anymore. Okay. Um, so it is a program that if someone was interested mm -hmm. in doing Korean language courses, we can consider it. Oh, yes. yeah. It's, it'll, it'll be great. Could you tell me about the program on this summer? So we do do quite a few programs during the summer. The library system itself, of course, has a summer reading program. Um, it goes from story times to regular uh, programs for older elementary, middle school mm -hmm. level. Um, we are in partnership with an organization that will be doing um, a writing program for our uh, high school students. Mm -hmm. And what they do with that writing program is the That Could Be Me program. Mm -hmm. They get students from Montgomery and other surrounding counties to interview influential people mm -hmm. in their area mm -hmm. um, and then create a children's biography based on that individual. Okay. Um, so we had 20 books released last year that we're hoping to get published and added to our collection that mm -hmm. were all created by high school students mm -hmm. in Montgomery County. Cool. Um, so it was a great and amazing uh -huh. program. Uh -huh. Um, now, for Julie Hampton Morgan Memorial Library specifically, there's the Back to School Boot Camp program, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that is in the month of July. The second full week of July after 4th of July would be our high school and middle school mm -hmm. grades. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have 9th through 12th grade and 6th through 8th grade programs. Now, the 9th through 12th grade for Back to School Boot Camp, Monday mm -hmm. through Thursday, mm -hmm. they're going to be learning basic life skills, like how to replace a tire on a car, mm -hmm. how to check your oil, cool. um, how to find college grants and scholarships, mm -hmm. how to apply for trade school mm -hmm. or colleges, mm -hmm. how to start a business mm -hmm. if you decide not to go to college. Mm -hmm. Um, so we do a lot of uh, basic life skills, how to build your resume, mm -hmm. what to put on a resume, how to dress for mm -hmm. the job, how to interview for the job. Um, I've even done uh, cooking classes mm -hmm. with that where it's like basic skills mm -hmm. cooking, like how to... How can you poach chicken and rice and do cool. vegetables in a coffee mug? Cool. Like all of that. So <laughs> basic life skills mm -hmm. um, to prepare them for college yeah. and living on their own. Mm -hmm. um, for the middle school grade, they'll do a little bit of the same learning, a mm -hmm. business and things of that nature. But mm -hmm. they'll mostly focus on using library databases to write reports and and things of that nature. So mm -hmm. learning the library services a, a little bit more in detail. Mm -hmm. um, now that. Second week, full week of July, would be the third through fifth grade. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to do also basic library skills, learning the Dewey Decimal System. Mm -hmm. They'll work with um, the Extension Agency, learning about how to eat healthy foods um, and things of that nature. There's several, and um, the Alabama Department of Archives and History will come and do their program also. Um, and then that third week of July, that would be our kindergarten through third grade, mm -hmm. or no, kindergarten through second grade. And then we, they just break it down a little bit more simpler with teaching library skills and things of that mm -hmm. nature. Um, at the end of each week, all the students who participated receive a bag of school supplies. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, I think, the biggest winner for that program is getting those free, like a pack of paper, a ruler, pencils, sh Sharpies, crayons, and a bag to carry those items mm -hmm. in. 
I um, love it. Yes. <laughs> so a lot of people enroll um, their kids in it just so that they have access to those free school supplies. Mm -hmm. Of course, during the summer months, keep an eye out for all the nonprofit organizations that do back to school nonprofit events mm -hmm. um, that hand out tons and tons of school supplies. It's mm -hmm. usually a one day event where there's like a fun run added to it or something like that. I know of three different organizations that do back to school supplies, mm -hmm. back to school supply events to get mm -hmm. supplies out to students mm -hmm. of need. Um, now, uh, for the city of Montgomery, there's the summer internship. Mm -hmm. um, this is a youth uh, employment program that's done by the mayor of Montgomery each year. Um, in 2022, mm -hmm. uh, let me pull out that document real quick. Mm -hmm. In 2022, the salary for those individuals was $11.02 per hour. Mm -hmm. um, so it is an earning wage. Um, and it's and what happens is that you enroll mm -hmm. um, in June mm -hmm. for the program. And then you do a week or two weeks of training about how to work in the workplace. It's mm -hmm. usually going to be most individuals' first time working. Mm -hmm. So it is um, 15 years or older mm -hmm. to uh, be a part of the internship, the mayor's mm -hmm. internship. So that means it's up to 16, why? So according to the 2021, the mm -hmm. program provides job opportunities to Montgomery youth ages 15 and older. Okay. So they started with the age 15 in 2021. Okay. Um, but my son is 15 now, mm -hmm. so does he? So he should be able oh, to really? enroll with the summer internship cool. this summer. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know when it will post, okay. but June is going to be the cutoff mm -hmm. deadline for enrolling into mm -hmm. the summer internship. So we're, So we're, it will last the end of June to mid-August. Okay. Yes. Where are you guys to post on that? I mean, it will be posted mm -hmm. on the city's webpage. Okay. So that's montgomeryal.gov. Oh, okay. Yes. So we're going to check out, I mean, before June, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll start looking for it at the beginning of June, um, March, okay. June. Okay. Yes. March. Okay, March. Yeah. Okay. Or cool. April, June. Okay. Yes, April, June. Okay. Um, so, because they'll post that and then people can enroll. Mm -hmm. um, so, it is a paid internship based on 2022, $11.02 mm -hmm. per hour. It is part time, mm -hmm. minimum of 25 hours per week. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, so, you can work up to 37.5 hours. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Um, required to commit to a minimum of 25 hours, but you can work up to 37.5 okay, hours. Okay. And I think that's depending on what department you get mm -hmm. assigned to. So you do a training period and then they figure out what department oh. you might fit in. Mm -hmm. So you could be working with Parks and Rec, mm -hmm. you could be working with the library. There's several different city departments that you may be assigned to. Oh, cool. And, and they will choose based on what your interests are. Okay. The city department will submit to the mayor mm -hmm. how many interns they think they can take. Oh. And, then the, and then the Parks and Rec will assign the students okay. based on that. Okay. The sound drive kind of you have many process to select the students, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. And that's all done by the city mm -hmm. itself. So usually the library at Juliet Hampton has two interns. Okay. And then they would be helping us with like the summer reading program, oh. cutting up crafts for the students, uh -huh. helping shelve books, uh -huh. things of that nature. Okay. Do you know that, I mean, there's a lot of Korean companies are here, I mean, Montgomery. Do you have any plan or are going to have a plan for Korean families or English class or some kind of programs with Korean moms or... Korean students, do you have any plan for that or? So when we have done mm -hmm. ESL programming in the past, English second language programming mm -hmm. in the past to assist people mm -hmm. of a second language to learn English, yeah. um, it's been volunteer basis. So a person comes in oh. and says, hey, I want to teach okay. English. Mm -hmm. um, and then we work with that individual mm -hmm. to make it into a library mm -hmm. program. Um, I don't have anyone on staff that's really trained yeah. to do that. Mm -hmm. So it's really based on if we have a patron that comes in and is interested. Okay. Um, so it has been done in the past, uh -huh. um, but it's based on if we get someone that is interested in doing that program and we can work with them okay. on that program. Cool, cool. Thank you so much. I mean... I'm so appreciated. I mean, thank you so much. Yes. I mean, you answered all my questions for yes. that. 